I've got a son who has sickle cell and he's 13 years old. He was diagnosed when he was uh, six months old. So it was uh, heartbreaking and um, especially with the stigma attached to it. Some people believe, why did God do this to us? They didn't actually believe it's a genetic thing. They just believe maybe it's a fault of the wife. It shouldn't be classed as black people's condition because we are now beginning to see the white people having it as well. When two of the parents, the father and the mother, has a sickle cell trait, they have the tendency of producing a sickle cell child. Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood condition. They've inherited a, uh, an abnormal red blood cell, the gene within the red blood cell. So instead of it being nice and round and pliable, it, it gets sickle quite easily because they've inherited that abnormal gene. Sickle cell usually affects my um, legs, my stomach and my back. And it, to be honest, that's basically everywhere. Sickle cell crisis is more of the problem, the various problems that can occur are uh, all the various symptoms of what they, how they feel. Maybe the word crisis um, is supposed to show that this body is in trouble. I've lost my niece to sickle cell, which is hard for me to talk about, but I need to talk about it so that people know the seriousness of this. She only died within the matter of two hours. So this is how dangerous this condition is. We have about 150 children with sickle cell that attends the hospital. I have got two kids with sickle cell disease. My boys are seven and 12 at the moment. You have good days and you have bad days. I mean, you know, it could be a toss up. You can have, sometimes you can have more bad days than good days, but when you have good days, you sort of make the most of the good days. Edith is a Roald Dahl sickle cell nurse. As soon as something happens, Edith is there. She can tell by the cries that the kids make how much pain they're in and how bad their crisis um, is. The Roald Dahl nurse coordinates their care and ensures that they get the best quality of care that they require. So you act as an advocate, a coordinator, a family member, an auntie, everything to them. Despite the fact that this is an illness and it's a serious illness, a lot of people don't realize how serious it is. Um, you know, they try and give the kids a sense of they can still go on and do anything. It might be slightly limited to what a normal person would be capable of doing, but it doesn't mean that you can't do something. Sickle cell does not stop them from being who they want to be. And that is the ethos of our clinic that it should not stop you. And all we need to do is support Lisa and the boys to achieve this. You might be in a situation where you sort of feel that you, you know, there's nowhere to go and you don't know what's gonna happen. She still will do her best to make the situation calm, make sure that you're doing okay. Because uh, if you're doing okay, your kids are gonna do okay. 